Good afternoon campers. It is Monday and I am fishing. Yeah, that's right. Back on Snipe Lake, Monday night. Just finished work. It is a little bit later than normal. It's about half five. So I'm just having a little mooch about um, before I decide where I'm going. Um, Monday night tonight. So um, that's because England are playing tomorrow night, so we can't fish Tuesday. Got to be at home supporting them boys. Um, so we uh, all know the result of the Belgian game we spoke about last week. It's alright, it's only the B team, wasn't it? So it's all good. Um, so that's why we're fishing Monday night. Makes the week drag a little bit, but it's going to be broken up by. Uh, the football tomorrow night which I'm looking forward to so I'm just having a little mooch about I'm very tempted to go back into 12 to be fair because uh, of those two fish I had last week but I'll let you know I think I've just seen fish show down now yeah it's been a tough old day today in this heat um, but I'm going to relax now once I've decided where I'm walking or well, I know where I'm walking, I'm walking around the lake but once I've decided where I'm going to settle down for the next 10, 11 hours maybe so I'll keep looking and I'll keep you informed about where I end up Well campers, so I've decided um, there's nobody on the lake tonight except me and Ben, so, well at the moment anyway. Um, cage don't shut for about another hour and a bit, so you never know, people might turn up. But as it stands at the moment, um, I've chosen swim number one. And the only reason I've done that is because last week I was over there in swim number 12, fishing to open water, just behind me. So, what I'm going to do is fish to open water from the swim one see if it's uh, if it is a spot I mean if I get a bit of interest or something then I know that there's a spot there but um, it'd be interesting to see the difference in the line lay because I know that the silt drops off a little bit there so a bit of an experiment really so uh, swim one it is um, just getting me uh, bivvy up the wind's gusting a little bit to be fair or well, it has been so um, see how that pans out but um, I'm going to carry on getting myself sorted. Speak to you in a bit. Well, I managed to find um, the spot where I had the fish off of last week, but uh, it took me about six or seven casts dumping the lead about and uh, having a feel. But I think I've got there. So all the rods are clicked up. I'm fishing two rods on and around that sort of area um, just to see what happens. And uh, I've got one about a foot off the island. I'll show you in a bit. So basically I'm going to use the exact same rigs as what I uh, caught the two fish on last time which are them bad boys um, Nash size 6 I think they are but what I'm going to do is just give it a couple of rubs with the old uh, hook sharpener which I always do just gives you that little peace of mind are sharp enough hopefully yeah that's quite sharp get boily on there and we're good to go it's funny but um me and ben always uh, say we fish together for a bit of a social but for the first hour before we've even got our rods in probably don't even talk to each other because we're too busy setting our rigs or making our rigs putting the boilies on and all that you know so uh, I don't see them for about an hour Perfect. but he's doing his thing he's had a new stocky rise out the water in front of him in swim free um, while I was talking to him I see some water being broken by another fish so it could be uh, Ben's night tonight. 
Right, so let me go through the rigs then. We've got two size six uh, Nash hooks there, all right, with 16 mil tiger nut and maple flavoured boilies. Uh, we've got some braid going down to the usual rubbers. But this one, same size, 16 mil. Sorry, let's move that out of the way. Um, same hook, 16 mil boilie, but I've done this in gravel because this one is going tight, all tightish to the island, so um, it's a little bit harder over there, a little bit lighter. So I'll uh, stick that one out by the island. So there's my three bad boys. So you can see, I'll put a little bit of PVA nugget on there to protect the hook. And there we go. It's all good to go, so I'm going to pass that out into the silt. I can't put any more bait out. They're ganging up on us now. Here we go then. All rods are in. I've got two rods in open water between the two lily pads. The lily pads on the right and the ones in the distance you can see. Good little drops on those two bad boys. And then I've got one just where that duck's swimming over there. Go on. It's a bit interesting. Right, well where I've got my uh, rod by the island, We've seen a little bit of movement over there. So hopefully something's going to happen with that one. Fish topping. And a few feeding bubbles, so... Let's keep an eye on that one. Right, so the story so far goes, um, it's up past nine. Um, just about to get into my pit. Uh, there's been fish showing over my island bait, so um, I'm probably going to chuck a little bit more bait in there before I go to bed because um, there's been fish activity over it. Um, the lucky spot from last week, not a lot really happening over there, so. Uh, but we live in Hope. I didn't get my first take till two o'clock last week, so got loads of time yet. So I'll keep you informed if anything happens. You keep burning my beauty. Keep the mozzies away from me. Morning campers, it's just gone three o'clock and I have just landed a personal best grassy at £28.12 absolutely buzzing I can't believe it um, after a bit of a tussle in the pads and out the pads I managed to net it so um, I was uh, trying to cope on my own with the old self takes and I did a tiny little bit of video look at that <coughs> wow it's a big grass cock was bashing me about so much I had to go and wake Ben up bless him um, so he came and took some photos for me which I'll stick up so um, thanks very much for that Ben a bit of a lifesaver to be fair because I wouldn't have got any decent photos without uh, without your help so, top man. So, uh, yeah, middle rod, open water, 16mm um, tiger nut and maple boilies. So, absolutely buzzing. Can't believe it. How I'm going to get to sleep now, I don't know. But, I've recast my rod anyway. So, that's out there fishing again. So, uh, 
I'm going to try and get my head down and I will see you in the morning. Mozzy Corn's done their job last night. Still burning. State of my trousers from that grassy last night. Still wet. I'll have to put them on. Morning campers. Well I'm up and out of my bed. Um, just gone six o'clock. The sun is so bright already. Um, no, nothing else to report last night. Apart from the excitement of the grassy. Um, so the pack down begins. I've uh, got a lot of it over there, look. Just me rods in the water, which I'll leave in there for a few more minutes. But uh, well happy with last night's events. So, it's all good. There's plenty of fish showing in them pads last night again. Uh, a few splashes just on the other side of the lake, so they were quite active again. It's good. Um, so I'll reel my rods in now and um, go to work. And that is how bright it is at 6 o'clock in the morning. Mate, right, that sounds proper toasty already. So that's another week with no text to shame, which is brilliant news. Um, if you want to, uh, I usually say much more struggles, but I'm kind of having a lucky patch at the minute. So, if you, well, I'm not a fool. I know that the struggles are only around the corner. So uh, if you want to watch me struggling and catching on occasion, then uh, hit the old subscribe button up there. Thanks guys, thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. See you next week.